Hey there, it's Paul. Today we're going to look at adding shake functionality to our Ionic 3 applications. This essentially means that we're going to be watching the device's accelerometer, and when the user shakes the phone, we are of course going to display some data. Ensure you've made a new project by running Ionic Start, the name of the project, and blank dash dash v2. As you can see, I've run Ionic Start shake blank dash dash v2. We'll then need to install both the Cordova and Ionic native plugins for this. To install the Cordova plugin, we're going to run Ionic plugin add Cordova dash plugin dash shake, and I'll save it to the config.xml. Let's start by changing directory into shake, and then let's add the shake plugin. So Ionic plugin add Cordova dash plugin dash shake. Let's also commit this to the config.xml by using dash dash save. We'll also need to install the Ionic native wrapper. So npm install at Ionic dash native slash shake, and we'll also save this to the package.json. I'm going to be testing this on an Android device, so let's add Ionic platform add Android. And then I'll also start a live reload server on the device. So Ionic run Android L. Finally, let's open it up in VS Code. The first thing we'll need to do is head over to source app app module, and we can import from Ionic native slash shake. We can import shake. We can then add this to the list of providers, and we can save the file. We don't need to do anything else inside of app module. I'm going to add the shake functionality to our homepage, but you can add it wherever you want. I'm going to start off by removing the nav controller because we don't need it right now. I'm going to add platform and I'm also going to add shake. And shake comes from importing it from ionic native slash shake. We can inject both platform and shake, so private platform, platform, and private shake, shake. So let's first check that the platform is ready. So this.platform.ready. In the then event, we will of course use the this.shake.startwatch. So essentially, we can start watching for the shake gesture. Now you can pass in an optional sensitivity here. As we can see, it defaults to 40. So let's at the moment not pass any sensitivity into it. After that, we can subscribe to this because it's an observable. So we can take the data stream and at the moment we will alert shake if somebody shakes the device. For demonstration purposes, I'll also log it to the console. So I've got my phone in my hand and I'm going to shake the phone. And you can't see at the moment, but there's an alert on screen which says shake. If I press OK, we should get the shake in the console. So there we go, we've hooked into the shake gesture within Ionic 3. Now in the start watch function, we could add an optional sensitivity number such as 60 or 100 or whatever you want and play with it as much as you want. So get it as sensitive or not as sensitive as you want it and then have fun. As you can see, there's no other methods on the shake module. So we only have start watch. So that's about it for looking at shake within Ionic 3. If you've enjoyed this and you're going to use it inside of your applications, hit that subscribe button because there's many more Ionic 3 videos on the way. And until next time, my name is Paul and I'll see you in the next video.